All right, so today we're going to be draining the engine coolant uh, for the Toyota MR2, and this is in preparation for a engine rebuild. Uh, coincidentally, you could do it for, you know, just regular drain, drain engine coolant. Uh, this is because the coolant can get pretty dirty, pretty gross, and then it doesn't do its job. So in my case, it hasn't been done in probably about 15 years. It's really brown and sort of sludgy and gross. So we're going to be following the Big Green Book for this procedure. And uh, it looks like here there are four drain locations. There's one at the bottom of the radiator here. There's two, one on each of the coolant pipes. And then there's one here at the bottom of the engine. So there's so many because the system is so big. Uh, because the engine's in the back and the cool, uh, radiator is in the front, the coolant has to go back and forth between them. And there's just this huge system which most cars don't have. So this thing holds, you know, 12 liters of coolant compared to like a 4 liter or even less for a regular car when the engine's up front. So we're really going to have to, you know, do our diligence here in this draining procedure and get all the crap out so that, you know, in preparation for new stuff or, you know, for just cleaning the system for an engine rebuild. So we're going to follow the steps here in the in the book. Uh, looks like we've got to remove the spare tire first so we can get at the uh, at the uh, service hose, so the hose comes with, you know, right in the in the spare tire compartment, and that thing we connect to the drain uh, cox. As you can see, we connect the hose here, and then that helps us drain and funnel the coolant into a bucket or, or whatever you're going to use to to capture it. Uh, set the heater to max hot, that's so we can drain the coolant from the heater, the heater up top here. Uh, we're also going to have to remove the plastic fuel tank protector that's underneath the car. That's so we can get at the drain cocks here and also for the engine one. And then we're going to connect the service hose and drain the coolant. So let's show that next. Alright, so the first step here is done. We removed the plastic cover and there's also this uh, wheel well sort of uh, bracing here. We have also removed three bolts, 10 millimeter. This plastic cover just pops out. And this exposes all the uh, the lines here in the car. And so this is the front of the car. And so, you know, we have our brakes. And these are all the heater lines and stuff like that. And this is what we're looking for, this little plastic dude. Um, this comes with all the cars. It's a, it's a uh, drainage service hose. So it just comes right off. And this thing is what we use to uh, attach to the drain cocks so that it helps guide the coolant into uh, whatever we're going to use to hold it. It actually comes with two. That's great. So that's the first step here is getting that all apart. So we've jacked up the back of the car. We've got it on jack stands here. And we're going to be able to take a look here with our service hoses and see if we can connect them to the engine drain. However, on this car, when we go under, you can see that uh, right there is the AC compressor. You can see it right there. And that thing actually sits right on top of the drain. So to get at that drain and put the service hose on, we'd have to, to get put this, this bad boy on here, we'd have to actually remove the whole AC system. Uh, it's quite a quite a big deal. Uh, it's also, you know, be very careful. You don't want to leak um, that uh, gas in the AC system that's dangerous for you. So that's actually going to be a huge pain in the ass. Uh, if you don't have this A AC compressor. Um, I've drained coolant on one that doesn't have this and it's super easy. It's just right there by the uh, the oil filter. You just put the service hose on and then open it up and the coolant comes out. But since we have this AC compressor, we're, we're kind of screwed. So we're going to do it a different way. So what we're doing right now is just letting the coolant drain through the radiator drain cock. Uh, mine already had a little short hose attached to it, so it's just running into an oil pan. Uh, when this gets full, we close it, and then we dump this out into another bucket. Again, there's going to be about 12 liters of coolant in the system. And what we're going to do is periodically add more water to the system by adding it into the uh, radi radiator cap in the back in the engine compartment. And since the car is higher up in the back now, uh, the coolant will be traveling from the back to the front and it will get drained out here at the front. We're going to keep doing this until we see just water coming out, not this brown sludge, which is really gross. And uh, it'll take its time. Be patient. Keep an eye on the pan. 
and uh, we'll get there. So still draining away here. We've actually rem completely removed the the drain uh, control there. We've also loosened the uh, radiator air bleeder, which is right here on the top. Go around to the back here. You can see we have the hose hooked up. So the hose is trickling water very slowly into the filler cap. And this is just flushing the system out. And uh, we've also loosened the uh, the uh, air bleeder down here. It's right there, that little white thing you can see. And uh, yeah, we're just going to let this run continuously until we get clear water coming through. Remembering to empty this safely every once in a while. So we've taken off the uh, cover under here. And you can see these are the two the two lines that go to the front of the car. And you can see one of those drain bolts right there. And there's another one. Let's see if you can see it here. Right there. So those are the two drain bolts for the actually the coolant metal pipes that go from the front of the car to the back of the car. And we're gonna loosen these and we're going to drain coolant from there now. Still keeping the back of the car higher than the front, but the coolant runs to, the, to these pipes here. And we'll see what happens here. So we successfully finished flushing the, uh, the front of the car, so the front portion of the coolant lines. And we did that by running a hose just into the, into the coolant filler cap, just shoving a hose in there, letting it run, and then opening the two drain bolts on the cool, hard coolant lines that go to the front as well as the uh, bleeder uh, the bleeder drain on the radiator, the bottom of the radiator. So just open them you know, in succession, have one open, two closed, then change it up. Then you know, keep changing it up and so water just keeps coming out. You keep putting water in using the hose until it comes out clean. Now this, this successfully gets, you know, cleans the front portion of the, of the coolant system but you still have to do the engine itself. And that's uh, everything, so this is the thermostat here, everything uh, up here is connected to the engine and it's not connected to the rest of the coolant system unless the thermostat is open. And that only happens when the engine's hot. Uh, so if, when the engine first starts, when it's cold, the coolant just circulates through the engine. It doesn't actually go to the radiator until the thermostat opens and then coolant goes to the radiator. So the car is cold right now, so I couldn't flush out the coolant in the engine by using the drain plugs in the front. Um, this car, I can't get it running right now. Um, I don't have a belt to connect to the water pump, so if you have this problem as well, and you have AC, because you say you can't get to that you know, engine drain, uh, if you don't have AC, go ahead and just drain it from the engine drain there. Uh, if you have AC, you're going to have to figure something out, which is what I'm going to have to do. Just one more quick note. Um, to get this portion of the, of the line um, from the, from the uh, thermostat forward, um, what you do is you just remove this air bleeder plug. You just completely remove it. And then what I did is I took the funnel and put it in there and then just had the hose going straight into the, uh, into the thermostat here. And that flushed out this portion of the coolant hose. Um, that portion is taken care of by the, the coolant filler cap. So right now we're going to be discussing what we can do to flush the engine. Um, pretty much all you can do is either run the engine until it's hot, then the coolant circulates and you can get rid of it at any one of the other plugs, or you can use the drain plug. I, have, I can't use any of those options, so what I'm going to have to do is probably remove the AC so I can get at that drain plug. Uh, it's a fairly complicated process, so we're going to go step by step on how to do that. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to be removing the AC. And let's just get a flashlight here real quick so we can see what we're doing. Alright, so the AC is down there. Flashlight's pointing at it right now. There's also an idler pulley, which is a smaller pulley right there, and then the AC is down below it. Um, 
Now you got to be careful when you're moving the AC because it's full of freon or chlorofluorocarbons. Uh, the stuff is uh, fairly dangerous. Uh, it's heavier than oxygen and air, so if you get it in your lungs, you're that's bad. So if you're going to release it to the environment, uh, first of all, I think it's illegal, so you should probably get it done um, at a shop. But uh, if you're not going to be releasing it, which is what we're going to be doing, um, you can just suspend the compressor. Uh, I'm going to be hanging it using metal wires and then removing all the bolts that hold it to the uh, to the engine. Um, so there's a bolt there for the for the idler pulley. Um, there's also a bolt for the pulley, the idler pulley itself. And there's one. Uh, there's also the adjusting one. So there's two there, adjusting and then you know the pulley bolt. And then the uh, the compressor itself has four bolts holding it up. So this is the final step. We got the uh, AC out of the way. We got to uh, undo that engine drain cock and we've also removed the uh, sorry here that's the uh, thermostat air bleeder we just removed it completely and we're filling here with a hose just continuously filling and we're we're losing coolant at two different locations uh, one is actually at the drain or the thermostat bleeder location you can see it here it's just boiling over with water and then the other one is below the car. Oh, it's actually the engine drain. So you can see two two points there. And they're just continuously draining. It's mostly water here, so not a big deal. Um, just getting, you know, all the last little bits out. Uh, for the first few buckets, you want to keep that, because that's you have to dispose of that properly. But uh, right now, it's just water, so we're just letting the water go through.